Hi everyone, this is Mikhail Alexeyenko again, Grand Master, PhD, Fida Trainer, with yet another example where human beings sometimes still can calculate better than the strongest engines there are, except maybe Alpha Zero, I don't know. Uh, so this is the game that happened uh, with me. Alexander Ipatov was white and I was black. It happened 10 years ago in 2008. And here I remember vividly uh, Alex spending really long time trying to figure out this position. I tried to give it more time to the engine to find the combination. White is winning here. There's a crushing combination for white and with the correct play black will resign shortly which is exactly what happened in the game like with the correct play black should resign within 10 moves or or maybe less the engines don't see the i checked with the other engines i'm not using called the power of computer to to make this video but uh, you can feel free to to take this position and check on your engines it doesn't see a win. It sees like rook d1, uh, just play rook d1 and try to focus on the weakness with some edge, I guess. But uh, I was expecting something like this, uh, and but I wasn't worried. My king is safe. I will have counterplay because this guy is not so safe anymore. So, but Alex was thinking for a really long time. The line that he played and which is winning I also saw, but I missed the key idea that the engines don't see surprising ideas in advance. They have a list of moves to consider, which was written by the developers, and usually they are there is a system. They cannot consider all possible moves, so there is a written system for the engine. I'm assuming I didn't really see the code, but I can see from experience that um, which moves to consider and which to decline without consideration and but in some rare situations the moves that they decline without considering are the ones that are winning so human being when hopefully you can try to solve this one. this is a puzzle why to move and win very complicated combination if you can't or you don't want please please enjoy so oh it's considering knight h5. Very good. But knight h5, king h8, knight f4. <laughs> okay, we'll see. So, whenever I see this and the queen is looking here, I want to open the g file. I was considering moves like h5 here for white. But g6 is not really a threat in this position because if g6 f takes g, it opens the f file for me and I could just counterattack. So, yeah, I was, I was actually... Uh, considering doing this and get some control play on the queens. But another move that must consider is knight h5. Because now knight f6, pawn takes, pawn takes, king moves to h8, rook g7 is just winning. So the only move for black is king h8. The engine still doesn't see, there's a win here. Human being continues the line in his mind knight f6 fork right so black has to take still doesn't see okay i will turn it off it will see in a second i don't want any spoilers pawn takes f6 rook g7 a huge threat the only way to to handle it is to go rook g8 but i recommend that when you see a sequence of moves when your opponent has literally the only way to not lose immediately that should warn you to look there more carefully maybe there's a win if his position must be not so good if he has like only moves to play this is exactly the case and now the move rook g5 i've seen this move but i wasn't afraid of it because if he doubles i always have rook g6 i was not afraid of this move actually i collapsed here very quickly the move i should have played was rook g6 trying to double my rooks but the brilliant idea that alex found was to play rook h5 and now rook h7 is a huge threat, followed by h5. For example, if king goes to g8, rook takes h7, king takes h7, h5, this to follow, h file opens up, the queen goes, and it's very quickly, black will be checkmate. 
So the only way to handle this threat, since black doesn't have really counterplay, queen cannot approach the king, to go h6. Yeah, why not? So here, white goes queen c1, attacking. Again, the only move, king h7, right? Seems like black is holding. f4 is always queen g4 and black would be winning. So what else? But rook g1. Again, with rook h6 and rook g7 or just rook g6. Right? And again, black has only moved rook to g8. It, it seems like black is on the edge and that's exactly the case. And hopefully, if one can get to this position from here, that it's not that complicated. Now it takes, takes, and suddenly the king is overloaded. Rook takes g8. King cannot take because mate would follow. Rook g7 is coming. Rook g6, yet another move to play. Rook takes g6. Pawn takes g6. But then here are the passers. The knight is on the edge of the board. The queen is about to join the attack. The best move for white is queen f4 with immediate threat. And uh, black would lose very quickly here. Those pawns are unstoppable. The knight is too far away. For example, to illustrate, queen f5 is a human move to consider. Queen takes f5, pawn takes f5, e6. e7 is the threat. King goes to g8, e7, king goes to f7. And the pawn just, just goes. The pawn just goes and nobody can stop it. White is winning. If you turn on the engine now, it will tell you this is winning, this is crushing. For example, a move like king g8, there are many wins here. h5, queen g5, queen, uh, queen g5 would also followed by, by h5. It would be completely winning. Basically, these pawns are just going. <laughs> the, this one didn't even start yet from f3. So, but the engine doesn't see it until you show it to, to it. Somewhere here, it would see the combination. Let me see, give him a second. Come on, engine. Still doesn't see. Okay, with the, ah, okay now it's so because I'm not using the whole power of my computer. Now it sees. But up, up until this moment, it were only moves for black. That is why human beings is considering usually are considering these lines if you have only moves for your opponent it means he's in trouble and you should look more carefully there the engine doesn't have that algorithm by the way maybe maybe that could help you know if your opponent has only moves king h8 on the move knight f6 pawn takes pawn takes rook g8 on the move rook g5 rook g6 on the move i actually played c takes d was trying to trick him i've seen all this line seen that i was losing i wanted to trick him because if he automatically takes on d4 after queen a4 i would have queen d4 check uh, and or if white makes a waiting move rook d1 there's rook c8 followed by queen c2 suddenly i am winning i wanted to trick maybe he would play automatically c takes d but well he didn't he plays rook h5 and after rook g6, rook h7, I just resigned. So this is a combination that no engine can see and human beings, strong human beings, can. By the way, Alex was 2470 back then, not even close to where he is now. I hope you enjoyed, enjoyed this video. Please subscribe. Have a good day.